Lust is passion outside of principles. Love is passion within principles. How do I know that Amnon did not have love? It's because he desired something that was forbidden. What he desired, the scripture says, God's word said it was improper for Amnon to have Tamar. The girl was 15 years of age. Come on bro, dude, really? She's your half-sister, dude. That's not right. And God said in Leviticus that bros should not date their sisters. Half-sisters. God's word was very clear. Do not be with someone who is part of your biological family. But see God's word also says don't be unequally yoked with those who have not your faith. God's word also says that a man should be with a woman and the woman should be with the man. God's word also says these things but the problem a lot of times is that we have a passion that's raging and this is how you know that that passion is not love if that passion violates God's principles. As a Christian for us it's sin. Now if you are here today and you're not a follower of Jesus Christ I want to tell you something you actually have a free pass. You actually can follow your passions. It's not wise but you can do that. Why? Because you are the Lord of your life. You are the God of your life. You are your own supreme ruler. Like North Korea has their supreme ruler. You got your own. It's you. You are in charge of you. You are the savior of you. So you can do whatever you want. As Christians, we have surrendered that right when we gave our life to Jesus. We accepted him as our savior and accepted him as our Lord. Can somebody say amen? His word becomes the regulation for our passion. We submit our passions to him. We don't go in and try to change God's word to fulfill our passions. We let God's word control our passions. Sometimes you're 15 years of age and you're sexually God awakened. You realize girls exist and they're cute. But it's not right time for you. So what do you do? You don't go dating around like the world does. You go in and you put your feelings into God's feet and say, Lord, it's not my time. And then you submit him. Why? Because you're not ready to date if you're not ready for marriage. <gasps> did you just say that? I did. But what about high school? Half of people who are cool in high school will become fools 10, 20 years down the road. Divorced and children from every continent. That's not your destiny. That's not your calling. Don't follow the crowd. Don't follow the world. God never called you to fit in. He called you to stand out. You have a Lord. His name is Jesus. God wants you to spend your high school years finishing school. Get the best grades. God wants you to finish your high school years getting into some college. God wants you to finish your high school years picking up a hobby. Learn how to do things in life. Learn how to have friends, learn how to have hobbies instead of smoochy, smoochy, smoochy stuff at the end of the football games. And then when it's your time to get married, so you pass on to your girlfriend, not sexual transmitted disease and children from different people whose context you lost already, but you pass on something that is valuable, something that's precious. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes, but I think what culture does is stupid. They make, they make fun of, oh, you guys are talking about these valleys, like valleys in the 80s and they're old school. That stuff works. And what culture does, doesn't. We as Christians, we submit our passion to the principles of God. We don't try to mix the principles to regulate our passions. You have to understand, sex within marriage is beautiful. Outside of marriage, it's dirty. Nah, it's not. It is. Very simple. You see this plant? The, the soil within this, within this pot is a soil that cultivates the plant. The very same soil just became dirt. This is dirt. Within the pot, it's soil. How could the same thing within the pot becomes something that cultivates, outside of the pot something that stains. Take passion outside of God's principles, it stains your consciousness, stains your physical life and brings guilt, sexual transmitted disease, unwanted pregnancies, a heartbreak and you may say but it's just sex, if I just try harder, you can try all you want, this is dirt. Why? Because God intended it for sexuality and for passion to be within the context of marriage pot. 
that's why the same sex that you can have with the spouse the moment it's outside of the context it becomes you feel guilty you're more like well it's because I grew up in a Judeo, Judeo Christian community and that's why I feel guilty no it's because you're a human and God sets some boundaries and when you violate them your consciousness triggers you feel dirty why because you just took the soil out of a pot and you put it on the top of a podium it stains you you know you can be naked when the moment you get married and you watch naked people you feel dirty why because you're taking that soil that cultivates into the podium and it stains you and you can you can tell yourself all you want all day long this stains because if I put this right now on your hands if I put this on your Bible if I put it on your dashboard in your car if I put it on your phone and I say isn't that cute <laughs> all of you here today who are living in sexual immorality you know deep in your heart is wrong it hurts it stains your consciousness you know it displeases God and it's not helping your future and sexual sins are the worst sins you can ever commit do you know why it's not because God has a hard time forgiving them it's because you will have a hard time recovering from them 